Hi there guys, my name is Jacob and welcome back to the channel. Now I know what many of you are thinking, it has been a long time since I posted a video on this channel and there is a good reason for it. Work has been incredibly busy lately, a lot going on in my personal life as well and ultimately that just means that you know this channel has been kind of put on the back burner a little bit. Not exactly what I would like, you know, not ideal but you know this is basically a hobby channel, you know, so um, I have to prioritise other things when, you know, things get busy. So it just is what it is. But today I am back with my September solar stats. Now, I'll be honest, September feels like a long time ago. Um, we are currently on, as I'm filming this, the 21st of October. So it won't be long till I've got to make another one of these videos uh, for my October stats. Um, but today is all about September. So let's just take our minds back to September and I will go through that data for you now. And just for anybody who has never seen my channel before or doesn't know what my solar and PV system consists of, um, I have 13 440 watt solar panels. I have one generation three 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter and I have a generation three 9.5 kilowatt battery Um all with Give Energy. Um, that, that's kind of the supplier of the kit. Um, and it was a local installer that I used to have it all installed. Total price was £9,000. That did also uh, include an EV charger as well. So the total package was £9,000, which to be honest, I thought was pretty good value. But you can tell me down in the comments what you think, whether that is good value or not. Um, and also a common question that I quite often get on these videos, my tariff details. I am with Octopus Energy and for my import, so what I take from the grid, I am on Octopus Go. Um, that basically has quite an expensive day rate, but it has a very cheap night rate. So I use that to charge my battery. Um, and my export tariff is outgoing Octopus. And that just basically pays me a flat rate of 15 pence a kilowatt hour that I export to the grid. Um, there are no kind of peaks or anything like that. It's just flat 15 pence per kilowatt. Uh, and if you are interested in switching to Octopus Energy, please take a look at the description box uh, at the bottom of this video. Um, and there is a referral link that if you would like to use it, you would get £50 of credit. And I will also get £50 of credit as well. So if you do use it, just a big thank you in advance. Right then, let's get into the stats. So total generation for the month of September was 509 kilowatt hours. Now that is down quite substantially on August. Um, August was 680. So we're roughly talking, I'd say around 30% uh, drop off from August to September. So that is pretty significant. But to be quite honest, um, as we're already quite a long, you know, a long way through October, um, I think we're going to have a similar drop off, if not more, in October. So really, you know, the kind of solar season, if you like, is quickly coming to an end and uh, kind of autumn, winter. You know, I've never gone through an autumn, winter with my panels because I had them installed January of 2025. So I had a little bit of winter at the start, but I didn't really experience it all that much. Um, but now I'm really experiencing that drop off from the very high peak of kind of May, June to now we're into September, October, where it's really dropping off. But it's going to be interesting to see how that goes anyway. But yeah, 509 kilowatt hours for the month of September. My best day was the 17th of September, where I generated 29.3 kilowatt hours for the day. So that was a really good day. Um, and not too far off August's best day, which was 34 kilowatt hours. So, you know, roughly 10 to 15% less, but not a massive drop off from the best day. However, as weird as it always is, the best day always seems to be followed by the worst day. The worst day was the 18th of September, and that was just a measly 3.3 kilowatt hours. So just a huge drop off from the day before. Um, and it was about three times worse than the worst day in October, uh, sorry, in August. So August's worst day was 9.9 .9 kilowatt hours. Um, and September's was 3.3. .3. So that, you know, that's probably the worst solar day I've had in many, many months. 
So again, it shows you that, you know, the, the high of the month has come down a bit, but the low of the month has really dropped as well. And I guess we're getting more of those low days now, which is why total generation is dropping significantly. Occasionally, we do still get, you know, just a random day that does really, really well. But because most of the month is quite poor, it drags all the stats down to quite a low level. Now, as I've mentioned before in previous videos, my panels are all fitted with Tigo optimizers or Tigo optimizers, however you pronounce that. Um, so each panel has an optimizer attached to it. And across the month of September, I would have lost 12 kilowatt hours of generation if I didn't have those optimizers. But because I do, that was saved and that generation was kept within the system rather than losing it. So that was a pretty good month for the optimizers. Now my expected generation figure for a 12 month period from my installer was 4.5 megawatt hours. So that's 4,500 kilowatt hours for an, uh, for an entire year. So January through to December. Now, so far up to the end of September, um, my system has generated 5.1 megawatt hours. So I have managed to beat the prediction from my installer, um, you know, by roughly 10 or 15 percent so far. And of course, that number is still going up. Now, there's October, November and December still to go. But of course, generation is going to be quite low in those months. But still, it is nice to know that my system this year, maybe this won't happen every year, but at least this year, I have actually managed to beat their prediction. Um, and they did tell me that their predictions are generally quite accurate. So I'm really chuffed about that. And I guess that means that 2025 as a whole has been a pretty decent year to have solar panels and a battery installed at your house. So it's nice for me, I guess, because this has been my first year with this system installed. And it's kind of really, I don't know, it's worked really well. And it's given me a great starting point to know that this was a good decision, money well spent. And, you know, some of that payback that people always go on about, and uh, you know, how long's the payback period going to be? Um, you know, this system has paid a lot of itself back within that first year. Um, I think we're roughly going to be, well, potentially over 10%, I think, maybe creeping into 15% um, as a payback for the year, which I think is phenomenal. Um, but that's just my own personal opinion. Um, now, let's move on to costs for the month of September. So my electricity costs, including the standing charge, was £23.91. pence. And that was for buying 85.5 kilowatt hours from the grid. And of course, the standing charge on top. Now, the majority of those 85.5 kilowatt hours will have been purchased at 8.5 pence, the overnight rate that is on my Octopus Go tariff. There may have been one or two that are at the peak rate. Um, occasionally, that does happen when we're cooking, when we've got lots going on in the kitchen. Um, you know, occasionally the battery can only service so much of that um, demand and occasionally it does have to um, be supported by the grid. But I really try and manage that and make sure that we keep our usage down to what the battery can cope with. So generally speaking, um, we only really pull from the grid in the cheap hours. So as I say, £23.91 electricity costs for September. Gas bill, because we didn't put the heating on at all in September, we only paid the standing charge and then a very small amount just to heat hot water when we have showers and, you know, you put the hot tap on. So that was £11.44 for the month for the gas bill. And the very exciting bit, as always, is the export income. So what did we push to the grid and what did we get paid for it? Well, September... Of course, because the generation was down, so was our export income. But it was still a pretty good figure. So the export income for September was £67.38. And that was for sending 449 kilowatt hours to the grid. So total charges for the month ended up being another credit. 
So, you know, I have not paid an energy bill since I got this solar and battery system installed, which is just incredible. But September, again, was another credit. If we take the £67.38 export figure and we minus off the electric and the gas charges, we get a credit to my account of £32.03. So another positive month. Now, that figure is down from last month because in August, I got a £54 credit, drops to 32 in September. And I'll be honest, sneak preview of October's, I think we're going to be struggling to cover both the electric and gas charges for the month. It's going to be close because, you know, it hasn't been a good October so far. Export in income has been pretty limited because as I look outside now, it is just a covering of thick grey cloud. So it's enough generation to, you know, cover the base load in the house. So we're not pulling anything from the grid. And of course, we have a full battery that helps us in the evening. And I never, ever run out of um, the battery charge. Never. Um, it's 9.5 kilowatt hours. And unless I export to the grid because, you know, Octopus wants me to do that through like a saving session or something like that, um, I never even get close to emptying that by the time the cheap period comes and I can charge it back up. But yeah, so, you know, costs aren't going to be high, but of course, export income has been pretty limited. So covering the roughly £33, £34 that my normal uh, bills come to, I think it's going to be, oh, I don't know whether we're going to make it, to be honest. I think we're going to be shy of that figure, but you'll have to come back for October's stats video to find out just how good or bad the month has been but thank you if you have made it this far guys um i always appreciate every view that i get and every comment i get as well if there's any questions or comments you want to leave please do because it really helps the channel um, and let me know how your month has been if you have got solar panels and a battery share with me in the comments exactly how your september looked and don't forget, there is that referral link in the description box. So if you're thinking about switching energy suppliers, especially if you are on a standard variable tariff, you absolutely should be switching and fixing right now. So if you want to do that, feel free to use my Octopus link. And as I said before, we both get £50 if you do. So that would be fantastic. Uh, right then, guys, I will leave it there. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you'd like to hit the like button and the subscribe button on the way out, I would much appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next one.